Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at the Sonic Model Mini AR Wing, which is 600 millimeters or 24 inches of wingspan, it's very small and portable. And I have put my FPV camera in here and of course all the electronics necessary to fly it. It comes with servos, motor and ESC, so you don't have to worry about putting everything. It's almost ready to fly. So I'm going to make a little description about this wing. This is from Banggood. I'll leave the links in the description of this video and I'm going to fly with my FPV goggles. You will see the radio control inputs in the corner of the screen. So let's start. So this wing comes in a very small box, but because it comes unassembled and then you have to assemble everything together and glue the pieces. The whole thing is made out of EPP foam, which is a very strong and durable foam. It comes with a 1806 2400 kV motor. The hatch and the nose attach using magnets. And you have to glue the wings and the wing tips. And I recommend using some tape to reinforce the wings afterwards. In the inside, we will see a little plywood reinforcement, which is good to attach a battery. And if you use a flight controller too. As I said, the ESC is included says you only need your receiver, your FPV camera, and your batteries. I'm going to use a FR Sky receiver with its radio control system, and before the flight I test everything. It can use 3S and 4S batteries between 800 and 1400 milliamps. Now we check the center of gravity after putting the battery. This step is crucial to maintain the wing stable in flight. It is very easy, you can balance the wing like this with your fingers, and the point where you should balance it should be indicated by the manufacturer and in the wing you will see these extrusions as an indication where it should balance. And now it is time for the first flights. What you just saw is the technique I used to launch the wing. There are other ways to launch a wing like this, but that happens to be the way I use. The wing is very very fun to fly, whether you will fly with line of sight or FPV. Using a 3S battery is enough, but when you want more speed and fun, using a 4S battery is the way to go. What I like about this model is that it's very portable because of its size, and the fun is the same as a bigger model. The construction material of this wing makes it very indestructible, so if you're learning to fly this kind of models, it's okay if you crash it. But I recommend this model for someone who already knows how to fly RC models, and if you don't have any experience, I recommend using a simulator before trying this one. For the price, I would say this is very, very recommended because it has the motor, ESC and servos already mounted. So you will save a lot of time and effort. And now let's see the FPV flights with my radio control inputs on the screen.
this next flight I was flying line of sight, although you will be able to see the FEV camera to compare the movement of my sticks in the radio. I hope you really liked this video and enjoyed watching the FPV flights with the radio control. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project.